Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relative sizes. This is standard 4.8a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 22 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this picture here. This is a man. We know it's an adult uh, man because he's got a beard that gives us a little bit of a clue. So we have a grown man here standing next to a table. And all we're looking for is the measurement that best describes the height of the table. So we've got a whole bunch of threes, three meters, three centimeters, three feet, three inches. We cannot take our um, mathematics chart and use the rulers on the side to measure that because this is just a small representation. There is not actually a man that is this small that it fits on your paper or on your screen. So let's just start with what we should know about how tall the average adult male is. So keep this in mind. The average adult male is a little bit less than six feet. So think about, we're thinking about six feet. Actually, it's about five foot nine inches. That's three inches short, but that rounds up to six feet. So think if you're slightly taller than average uh, dad, grandpa, uncle, uh, neighbor, about six feet tall. And what that does is that gives us a nice frame of reference. As you can see, this table comes right about to his waist, which is about halfway. So we can easily say, well, that table comes up to his waist, that's going to come about halfway. So it looks like it's going to be about three feet, which is one of our options. So let's take a look at what the other ones are because we need it to make sense. So we have three meters. Now, a meter is not in the same system as feet. So meter is part of the metric system. The feet is about in the customary system. So I'm going to use these little squiggle equal signs. That means it's about, it's approximately one yard. Meter is a little bit longer than a yard, but it's about one yard. So once we get in there, we know what a yard is. So we know that one yard is equal to three feet. So our one meter is about three feet. So we can call this right here about two meters. So if we wanted to do three meters, we'd have to probably go up to here. We'd, we'd be off the picture. That'd probably be an extra meter right there, maybe a little bit taller than that. So that would be a really, even basketball players are not a full three meters. That's really, really tall about nine feet tall so that is big but but this this adult male is not that big three centimeters so we're also in the metric system here and so we've got our centimeters and think about this meter well this meter is a thousand so if we're going to look at a meter we're going to call this one meter right here we're going to call this one meter right here another meter up on top it takes a, a hundred centimeters, so 100 centimeters gets into our one meter. So imagine taking this right here and breaking it up into a hundred tiny little pieces. So the three centimeters is probably going to be about this tall. Not very tall at all. I mean, maybe up to his ankles, but that's as, that's as high as you're going to get. So we're looking at this three feet. The three feet looks uh, looks decent. Now the inches are a little bit bigger, but we know it takes 12 inches to equal one foot. So we've got six feet here. So that means we need to break this up into six equal parts. So this is three feet here, and that's three feet here. Break that three feet up into thirds. And so, yeah, you've got about your one foot right here, 12 inches, gets to right about halfway up his shin. Much too small. Our answer here is H, three feet.